The neurodynamic assessment, what is it and what does it mean? Assessing the neurodynamic system is an assessment of the response of nerves and their surrounding structures to movement and tension. We know that the primary function of the nervous system is impulse conduction. So for the nervous system to perform these functions across all of the positions we adopt and movements we undertake, it needs to be able to move, stretch and contort as a response. So what's the purpose of us understanding that? Well, a neurodynamic assessment allows us to understand if someone's symptoms are associated with sensitivity of the nervous system and its surrounding structures in response to movement or tension, something we call mechanosensitivity. So this can help in our clinical reasoning for how we might manage someone with lower back or leg symptoms. So when we undertake a neurodynamic assessment, we aren't just putting a nerve under stretch to see what happens. We're actually doing a few things. We are developing tension and pressure within the nervous system and its attachments. And we're also moving the nervous system relative to its interface. So all of the connective tissue, bone and muscle that it moves through. Our most common neurodynamic test we have in low back pain is the straight leg raise. This test is relatively simple and can give us quick and relatively reliable information of the patient's mechanosensitivity. By placing the nervous system on tension through the straight leg raise, we can see if these positions replicate all or part of the patient's symptoms, which would indicate a positive finding. So your neurodynamic assessment is a test for mechanosensitivity, that is, testing the sensitivity of the nervous system and structures it moves through in response to loading and tension. This helps us understand whether mechanosensitivity is contributing to someone's symptoms, so it can help inform what is contributing to their pain presentation and our subsequent management.